it didn't take the manufacturer so long to figure out the fact that you actually want a new computer. The only thing that you are actually thinking of having is just to have a new computer. It doesn't matter what is inside. You are just, you know, kind of excited because the computer that you have, it's new. And these manufacturers, they figured this out a long time ago. And this is exactly the game that is being played right now. You see, because you want new, you do not really care. As long as you can actually go ahead to buy a new thing, within the budget that you have. Perhaps you want to spend 300 euros for a PC or even 200 euros. You, all your consideration is that, look, if I can get a new PC that I can actually go ahead, you know, and open up myself and everything smells so good, you'll be thinking that you've gotten yourself a good computer. Guys, I'm here to tell you that this PC right here, it's a Fujitsu Extremo Q958. Unfortunately, it's not new, but I stand to be corrected. If you put this PC, out there, you know, you, you put them side by side, there's so many new PCs you have right now. This PC is just gonna flood them hands down. See, I take a look at what you have there in the marketplace and I'm kind of surprised how people still go about, you know, buying some of these pieces. These pieces are slow. These pieces are pretty more built with plastic materials. These pieces are not able to withstand any form of multitasking. They have, as a matter of fact, the worst processors, you know, input in them. But then people just to go ahead, you know, to buy them, people like you, because you do not know what a quality, you know, PC is. And these companies, they pretty much perfected, you know, the marketing to a point that they are going to make sure to tell you that, look, buying a used PC is not something that you should do. They tell you that the used PCs are not going to hold up. They've already been used. They are not going to, you know, last any longer while spending your money for pieces like that, guys. I'm going to tell you that this PC right here, a Fujitsu Esprimo Q958, this is one PC you can bring out, you know, any day, any time. It's not new, like I said, but if you put this PC to test, you will pretty much be shocked at what this PC, you know, can do. See, I decided to bring it out just to show you because I understand that there is going to be that one person today, you know, almost you know clicking on the buy it now button on some platform not being sure what exactly you're going to get i want to show you that this pc right here is not new but if this pc is to be called upon for multitasking activities this pc is not going to disappoint you because right here on this pc you've got an intel agent called i5 processor a decent processor that has been tested by so many of the youtubers here at the end of the day they all came to the conclusion that this is a very decent processor and this is something that you want to be seen having in 2025. You see, forget about the fact that the PC that you are about to buy now is so cheap. Guys, you are ultimately going to be disappointed because the first day you put this PC to test, it's going to work very good for you because the PC has not been loaded with any files. You don't have, you know, Photoshop or, or whatever program you want to use installed on it. And because of that, the PC is going to be you know, somewhat fast. And you're going to be telling yourself, I thought hardware money said this new PC is not good, but here the PC is looking very, very smart. Guys, I'm just going to give you a few days until the PC gets to, you know, work for you. When the PC gets hot, then you can really tell if it was a decent, you know, PC after all. I'm just going to try to take a look at the back to see how much RAM sticks can actually be you know, input into this PC. And to do that, I'm just gonna open this PC here, just like that. And right here is exactly where the RAM sticks are, you know, kind of hidden. But if you are just patient enough, you can actually, you know, get to it. Don't rush anything when it comes to opening pieces like this, because if you rush things, you might just be sorry. See, on this PC, you can actually go ahead and throw in your DDR4 RAM, 8 gigabyte, just like it is here, 16 gigabyte, 32 gigabyte, 64 gigabyte of DDR4 RAM, depending on what you actually find, you know, fit. Guys, I'm going to tell you for free that if you are right now in the market, not being sure what to do or what to buy, please, I want you to consider this PC here. You are definitely not going to be disappointed. See, there is a reason why you tend not to see this PC on offers. If you go on the big marketplaces today, you might be seeing things like 25% off, 50% off on a particular PC. There's a reason why these PCs, for one reason or the other, you do not tend to see them 
on very terrible sales because they have been proven to be good. You see, they do not have to come to tell you or deceive you to buy these pieces because nobody needs to try to, you know, sell you on the fact that the piece is so cheap as to make you buy it. If you go to the big marketplaces, hardware money being one of them, you see that this piece is just there waiting for you to buy it. It's not going to shout on you that, look, I have 50% off, I have 70% off. The piece is just going to be there at a price that has been fixed. And if you see it, you might be thinking, why is this piece not all painted in red? Why is the price, you know, just in black, not this, you know, red, old price, new price, you know, all to make you just go ahead and click on the buy it now button. There's a reason for that. And the reason is that this PC, as it were, is a very decent PC. If you go ahead to use your budget, say 300 euros to buy it, you are going to keep using this PC, use it for a very long time. I'm not just telling you of something I have not tried myself. This is something I have personally tried. I have used this PC as my work PC. I have sold it to customers and the verdict remains the same. People call me to tell me that, look, this is a very decent PC that you have given to me. The PC is smart, it's fast, it's quiet, and it's versatile. It doesn't matter the position I want to use it. If I want to keep it vertical, the PC is able to work flawlessly. If I want to keep it you know, horizontally, the PC equally works as it should. I said that's not enough. The PC in itself is very, very easy to upgrade. See, on this channel, I have had a lot of, you know, videos detailing exactly how you can actually go ahead and upgrade the SSD and the RAM on a Fujitsu S Primo PC. Perhaps not the 958, but definitely on the 556. And if you know how to upgrade the RAM on the 556, the 958 shouldn't actually be a problem. This PC right here is going for cheap on the hardware money shop. If you are looking for a PC that will serve you well, a PC that when you come in the morning, you hit the power button, the PC is just going to boot up into Windows. A PC that's not going to give you a problem if you decide to upgrade to Windows 11 because right now, Windows 10 is almost becoming a thing of the past. If you are saying to yourself, I want a PC that's going to run Windows 11 without me having to hack the system or hack the processor brain, this is one PC you might want to consider. And feel free right now to go to the hardware money shop. Take a look at the link in the description below. Click on it. You might be fortunate to put your feet on the door and get this Fujitsu Resmo Q958 for cheap. And like I always say on this channel, cheap is relative, but then take a look at it. You will be glad you did until I see you again in the next one. Peace.